Hey, hey, I'm Charles Stepanek, and today we're talking about interactive digital music books on the Music Notes app. Now, this video is gonna break down into three main segments. First up, we're gonna explore just exactly what an interactive music book is, then we're gonna talk through the great benefits that these books can have for you, either as a student or as a teacher, and lastly, I'll guide you through the process of purchasing one of these books on the Music Notes app. So, let's dive in. Music Notes is working to create a massive, easy to access library of what we might typically call method books and their supplemental material also. So these are books which teach fundamentals of music across a variety of levels, right? These are now called digital music books on the Music Notes app. And the really special thing that Music Notes is doing is making these books interactive. So let's take a look at what I mean. We're here together in the Music Notes app and I have loaded up Improve Your Sight Reading by Paul Harris. Now, right at first glance, this might look like any other product that you've purchased or used on the Music Notes app before. And as we page through, right, it continues to look similar until we get to the first page of musical examples. And did you notice something that happened? On the screen, next to each example, three little blue play buttons in a circle popped up. Let's go to the next page. Oh, now we have six play buttons that popped up, one for each of the six examples on this page. We could continue forward through this book and you'd see every time we scroll to a new page, we get new play buttons. Wonderful, right? Now, what if we click one of these play buttons? Let's pick uh, on this page, exercise five. Let's click play. Wonderful. Okay, so not only do we get an audio playback, but you could see that the notes lit up on the screen. In this case, they were red. They lit up on the screen as the audio example played. Also notice, now that I've paused the example, one of the notes is still lit in red, the note where we left off on. And if I click play again at this point, play in the top right corner, it's gonna pick up right where we left off and finish the example. Now at the end of an example, if I hit stop, you'll notice I get my different menu back at the top. So let's go through that one more time. Right now on our main page view, you can see all six examples, all six play buttons for the six examples we have on this particular page. And on the top right corner, I have a metronome icon, I have my pen or my annotation tool, I have a little eye for information about this piece or this product, right? And as soon as I click play, those options change, right? So they change to what was a stop and pause button. I clicked pause, right? We can click play again to restart. And if I hit stop, it's gonna stop right in the middle of that example. Our menu icons, our menu buttons return to what they were previously. We get the original six play buttons back on the side of the screen and I can now freely navigate this one more time. So one more thing, if we're in the middle of playing an example and we hit pause, right? Those notes are still lit up in red. We cannot right now page back and forth, even using the pages at the bottom of the screen. That's because we're in the middle of working on a particular example, right? So we can either restart the uh, playback right in the middle, or we can stop. And when we hit the stop button, we'll restart playback from the beginning or play back any other exercise, or be able to page through the book again. So this covers exactly how these books are interactive, but let's take a minute and talk about why this is so important. So first step for self-taught learners. There are more, I think, beginner and intermediate self-taught learners today than there ever have been. And we're in what I would call a golden age of information. So in the past, you may not have even encountered a method book outside of a teaching studio, right? And now you can easily find out about method books via countless videos on YouTube and of course other social media and now on Music Notes as well. For someone teaching themselves where they have no access to a teacher, they have no access to expert information to, to guide them and to help tell them, are, is what they're playing, is, is it correct, right? But with this interactive digital book, you can, in a sense, check your own work. You can hear on playback if you're learning the right notes and the right rhythms. 
The playback even features articulations and dynamics so you can hear if you're putting those in the piece that you're working on as well. And if you want to work on one or two measures at a time, which is a great practice tool, you can listen, you can pause the audio, and then you can practice that measure or those two measures yourself, right? And you can do all this without navigating away from your music, without needing a second device. So you just have your tablet, you've got the Music Notes app open, and you can do it all here. So there is no risk of going down the rabbit hole on YouTube where you open it up with the best of intentions and say, I'm gonna check what I'm playing and I'm gonna see if I can find a resource, which may or may not exist anyway. And in the meantime, you just happen to find out that your favorite signature artist at Music Notes just posted a new video. And wait a second, you really wanna check that out. And before you know it, we are scrolling the feed on YouTube and 30 minutes goes by and have you practiced? No. <laughs> Right? So we have a way of avoiding all that potential distraction because we can do all of this listening back and studying in an engaging way right in the Music Notes app. We don't have to leave. And we don't need another, another tablet. Like how many of you keep two tablets on the piano at one time? I don't. So you get to stay engaged in your practice. And with a few taps on your screen, you get a great resource to check your tempo, to check your notes, your rhythms, your slurs, your, your dynamics, right? All of your articulations, yes? Let's even go through that real quick. Let me show you what I mean. Let's take this top example for a second. This is a sight reading book. So I'm looking at the first example at the top of the page. I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna play the whole thing. I'm gonna see if I can get it right. Here we go. Okay, how do I know if I can check myself? If I just had this book in a paper copy or a non-interactive even digital copy, I would just have to trust that I played it right or I'd have to have a teacher. Now. I got it right. Sweet, right? And if at any point during this process, I wanted to go back and I say, okay, well, maybe these are hard for me and I need to practice them. This isn't sight reading for me. Or you're working on a book and it's not sight reading and you wanna work on the material. Let's say, let's do what I, what I talked about earlier. Let's say, I'm gonna work on one measure. I wanna work on one measure. Let me hear that measure first. There's measure one. Let me play measure one. I could play measure one again now. Let's go back and recheck measure one. Oh, good, good. I got it right. Okay, now let's work on measure two. I'm gonna start the example over. Pause. I could work on measure two if I wanted to. Right, I could go back and put one and two together. Let's hear that back. Good news, right? So all of these examples, and in this book, there are so many because this is a sight rating book, but any of these method books, any of these interactive digital music books, every one of these examples is gonna have an option to play it back. And you can see now in practice just how powerful that is. Secondly, for teachers and students that have teachers. Now, as a teacher myself, I would love for students to be able to leave a lesson and take a recording with them of the stuff that they're working on so they have a reference during their own private practice time. Now, most of the time, us teachers, we don't have time between students during the day or at the end of the day to make even the simplest recording of a piece, even if it's just on our phone, right, for just one student. We don't have time for that. So having this interactive book fills that entire gap for us. So we don't have to try to find time to make recordings for our students. We don't have to take away valuable lesson time so that we can create audio recordings for our students. And we know that our students are going to get an accurate representation of the pieces and the exercises that they're working on. So now, no more excuses from your students that they don't know how the song goes 
And therefore, they didn't practice it in between lessons, right? No more excuses. So not only does this really benefit the student because of the resource and what it is, but I think it's also going to make teachers a whole lot happier. Okay, last up today, let's quickly navigate the Music Notes app to purchase one of these interactive digital music books. Now, first, a quick disclaimer. All of the digital music books that Music Notes is offering, some of them are going to be interactive and some are not. And I'm going to show you just how to find if the product that you're interested in is interactive or if it's not. So we're going to get into that in just a second. But know that not quite every book is going to be interactive. So if you're really interested in those features, be sure and check this out before uh, you go and purchase one. So here we are in the app. We're on the home screen, right? When we'd open up the app and go to shop, right? Now, if we click the top left corner where the little three horizontal lines are for our menu, we're currently in the shop menu, right? So you can see shop is highlighted. Bam. Okay, so if we wanted to get back there or you needed to find where to go to shop, now you know where to do that. Let's go to that search bar. We're going to type in, uh, we're just going to search for the same book that I've been showing you in this video. So that was a book by Paul Harris. Let's spell Paul's name, right? Paul Harris. And let's just type in sight reading to make sure that uh, we narrowed down those search results. So now we've got a bunch of sight reading books by Paul Harris. We were looking at the grade two book. Since I already own the grade two book, it's not going to show you exactly what it's like to purchase it. So let's look at the grade one book instead. So the second option here on the screen, we can open up grade one. We get a couple page preview. You can see at the bottom, there are four pages that we can currently cycle through. We can see a couple of these pages, right? Now, if we would go and look in the top right corner at that little eye icon, the information icon, click on that and you will see a bunch of information. And under product type, a couple from the bottom, says interactive. So always look for that. We're looking, and above that even, it says method book, right? So we know this is an interactive method book. Wonderful. So anytime you're in the app and you want to see, is this product interactive? Navigate to that product page, then click on the I information icon, tap on that, and look for product type. Is it interactive? or is it non-interactive? And then you'll have that answer for sure. Now, to finish up purchasing this, it's really easy. Uh, you just click the Buy Now button at the bottom of the page. You can click Buy Now and uh, go through and enter all of your pertinent information. If it's not already a part of your app, uh, sometimes your app is going to use whatever information, your payment information is that's automatically stored. Super simple, right? Once you've purchased it and it's a part of your library, we're going to go back we're going to go to our main menu and you're going to look over at near the top left, My Music Notes Songs. A lot of times when you open up My Music Notes Songs and you've recently purchased a product, be sure that you drag down and refresh the screen. So we saw that little spinning star for a second. Let your library refresh and it'll populate. So now you can see partway down the page I have improved your sight reading grade two. So let me pull that book back up. That's the book that we were working from. Interesting little thing that happens when you first pull up the book, it asks you if you'd like to download the audio files for this book because this is an interactive book. So we can say, yes, download if you want those audio files with you. If for some reason you don't want to store them currently on your device, they don't take up much space, but if you don't want to store them right now, you could click not now. I'm going to click yes, download. And we get another little dialog box that says always. So you could check if you wanted to always download audio files from these books. And then if you'd like it to not ask you again, you could always all the time not be bothered by these dialog boxes, right? So we click the button save setting. And voila, here we are. And just like we saw previously, as we scroll through the book now, when we get to that first page with examples, those play buttons should appear automatically. Last little tidbit, all of these interactive digital books are exclusive to the Music Notes app. So if you don't already have a copy or have the app downloaded, go ahead, go to the App Store, get it downloaded, right? And then once you're in here and you've searched for a product, uh, just know that you won't be able to print these products, right? They'll be a part of your Music Notes library and all of the interactive features will exclusively be in the Music Notes app only. This has been a quick overview of these new interactive digital music books from Music Notes. The library is always getting updated, so if you have a favorite method book already, 
there's a good chance that it's available or that it will be soon. I'm Charles Stepanek. I'm a signature artist for Music Notes, and I'm also the creator of Pianist Academy, where we make elite piano simple to understand and where we practice smarter, not harder. Thanks for joining me in this video, and I hope that you'll enjoy your first interactive digital music book on the Music Notes app.